hello again everyone um i've got another card here to show you um and i made this one with some more of my latest shipment of dyes from gummy pan and what i wanted to do for this one was to have a little play around with this stone wall um <laughs> i had a few ideas one of them was to actually detach each of these little stones and then stick them onto their position on another die cut like this one. But, you know, it was very fiddly and it really wasn't that effective at all. So that one went by the by. Um, I did try stacking several together, but it was just too much. I think um, the ideal one would be about two of these together. Um, so I'll cut another one now and we'll see where we go from here. Trying all sorts of things out here. So let's just cut another, this is just scraps. Doesn't matter because I'm going to color it. It's not actually the same kind of card as the one I'm going to use for the card base but uh, that doesn't matter in the slightest. That's nearly had it now, hasn't it? We can probably justifiably throw that away. Okay, so I'm gonna join these two together. I think I'll just use one of these big old Nuvo, I think it's called large glue pen. Okay. Let's pop these together. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is to use my embossing tool and give a bit of relief to each of these st oops, stones. Let's put that out of the way for the minute. Um, I'm going to use a fair, this one. These embossing tools come in various sizes. I've got a, this one is a set from Tonic and it goes from that tiny one there uh, up to this largest one here and it's a very very useful to have a range of sizes if you want to do any of this embossing of die die cuts so i'm just going to use a circular sort of motion and press onto each of these stones to give them some shape on the front do you see already that looks very different from this one which hasn't been touched yet so here we go, just giving them a little bit of shape. Surprising what just a tiny bit of this pushing does. Do you see what I mean about the, the, the usefulness of having a few different sizes? They're not expensive, these embossing tools. I don't know what they actually call them, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if they're called embossing or... They might be called a stylus, I, I don't know, but you can get them lots of places. And there are lots of different makes, not just tonic. I've got various ones that I've got over the years. There we go. Now, let's have a look at that. You see already, it's gone from really flat to far more interesting. Doesn't matter how you do it. There we go. Right. Now, hopefully, because I've done that, missed that one out, because I've done that, when I come to put some colour on the other side, it will run into the crevices. Okay. Let's put my emboss. This is an embossing mat, and it's made of foam, and it's fairly firm, fairly rigid foam. It's harder, it's more more resilient than, say, a mouse mat. Do people use mouse mats anymore? I, I really don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is add a bit of colour, and I've got a couple of colours of, of Distress Oxide here. I've got Hickory Smoke and Black Soot. Black Soot I want to use for the crevices. I might even put a bit of green in there as well, it's like a bit of lichen or whatever. Um, and the idea is to get sort of a random, random sort of finish. 
I'm going to use um, a water brush. I'll just pop a little bit onto the desk. This mat is so useful. And I'm just going to kind of go around in the crevices. There we go. Okay. It's really very kind of rough and ready. Right. Give this a little clean off. Okay. And I'll wipe up my mat. Oops. None there. Let's get a clean one. There we go. Right. Yesterday, I had a lovely time. I um, I met up with a lady who had seen one of my videos and realised that we only lived about half an hour away from each other. So, we went and had coffee. We thought we would be half an hour and we were still chatting two hours later. It was lovely. So, Nicola, lovely to meet you yesterday. Now, this is just a white jelly roll pen and I'm just this is kind of resistant to some colour and I'm hoping that just a little trace of some of this white will remain okay I didn't put it on the top because I don't want it to be as obvious as uh, as that I want it just to be a, a hint of of, of colour right I'm going to go put some hickory smoke on all over some bit more water in that There we go. I can add more water to um, squirt it over the whole project in a minute if I want to. It's not quite as dark as the other one on the original one. I might get a bit more of the black soot. Let me just, what I did with the last one was this, a bit of this and a bit of this and a drop of water I just did this look at that makes it it's, it's so much better than trying to do it with the pen isn't it goodness me right I might just now add a little bit more on that side A little bit of green just to give it a bit of uh, I like this forest moss as far as um, green is concerned let's have a bit of this just a touch doesn't have to be much And I actually can't see much of that jelly roll. I've actually covered it up, so I'm going to put some more on. That's the thing about um, trying things out. It doesn't have to be definitive. If you don't like it, change it. Nothing quite like it, really. Let me just give that a little spritz. It's coming on. Let's have a look at the original one, just to see how how different it is because it's not going to be the same obviously yes this one's darker isn't it I could put a bit more of the uh, of the black but it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be the same um let me put some of this on there yeah. um when it's dry um, what I did for my card was to put some um, foam tape behind it. And as for the little flowers, these are from the little set that I used with the snowdrops the other day. And I think this one is a dandelion. And you don't have to think, oh, I've got to use it just like that. What I did for my card here was I cut it in half and I used 
the little bud and this leaf at the bottom. I used the other one just peeking out the top of the wall. Um, as I was uh, thinking about doing this, I, I realised that I've got um, I've got a, a gate die, and I thought that would be great to put a gate beside it, and perhaps with an animal peeking over the top or behind or whatever. And uh, I was thinking to myself, have I got any dies? But I know I've got some animal stamps that I can probably use. So to finish this one off, all I did was to use a little um, Distress Glaze, do they call it? Yes, Distress Glaze. And I just rubbed it over with my finger and then buffed it up with the paper towel. And it just gives it that bit of shine. I don't know if I can do it at the moment with this one because it's still a bit, it's still a bit wet and I don't want to, uh, to ruin it completely. But do you see, the more random that you can make it, the more fun it is really. So I hope you have a go. Um, Colouring uh, things like these weeds, I don't know what they are, whether they're rapeseed or I don't know what they are. They might actually be rapeseed, in which case those little doodads on the end probably should be yellow as well. But it doesn't grow tall like that, does it? Anyway, I thought it was just a plant and uh, <laughs> I coloured it as such. But it might look rather nice if it's, if it's done with colours on the end of each piece, mightn't it? Very different. I wonder if I can try that glaze yet. But I think that looks really quite authentic and it really is just dabbing it on. So there you go. Another way of using one of my lovely gummy pan dies. The stone wall. Thanks so much for watching.